Um, your son Robert was killed in Afghanistan he in was. 2010. Um, you served time in Iraq. Could we get your assessment of how the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq have been prosecuted in recent years and what you think could have been done differently so maybe ISIS and the Taliban wouldn't be as resurgent yeah. as they are right now? I just, um, uh, I can talk Iraq, you know, I've got three tours there. Um, but I'm a military man and, and uh, you know, professional, and I understand how these things can be done. I, I think the, the ground commanders there, um, you know, as we listen to, say, JC, he talks about keeping as many troops there for as long as he can. Uh, you know, when, when I was in Iraq, uh, Anbar province, uh, we were, there, were, there was remarkable improvement in their security forces. Uh, as you all know, the awakening started there first and kind of metastasized around the country. Uh, we are very proud of the fact that the two Iraqi divisions that we in the in Anbar province organized, trained, and equipped ended up being the best Iraqi divisions. They could operate on their own. But we always had uh, inv advisors with them. Uh, I believe the uh, this war stuff is hard. And uh, it's not for the it's not for the for the untrained and the unadvised. And I would say that uh, uh, to keep sufficient numbers of intel people to, to provide obvious intel, uh, advisors to, uh, to uh, critique the commanders and the NCOs uh, after they're out on operations, not the command, but the critique, to suggest, to whisper in their ear, we know how to do this. We were doing that in, uh, in Anbar province. Uh, when they moved one of those divisions down to uh, Basra, uh, when the 14th Division collapsed, we had advisors with them. Uh, I think it was the 8th Division, maybe the 1st. They did a superb job, then that, and then it went to other parts. So, you know, the, 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 the uh, mentorship, the advising is what makes those things. The equipment is important, but it doesn't come close to having people that are just with them. And over time, you know, less and less involvement until you come to some steady state number of people. So you're saying it was a mistake to pull out of Iraq? I'm saying that there was... There was uh, there was other ways uh, to have done it at much smaller numbers than, than we had there, at the, certainly at the height of the war.